everyone, welcome back to Sandra Eats. I'm not Sandra, the girl behind the camera isn't Sandra, but I'm Lillian, she's Kathy, and today, Sandra, the two of us, are going to be eating a Valentine's Day special food mukbang. Yep. <laughs> yeah! So, tell them what we have. So, we tried to, um, you know, imitate an Italian night dinner. Mind you, we're, we're both, we've never had anything else. We've never eaten at night at an Italian restaurant. And we've never done day. anything for Valentine's Day. So this is what we think it'd be like. Yeah. So we have some really bland looking <laughs> pasta. That we made. It looks Yay, really bad, it but really it's bad, all good. But, you know, I think it'll taste fine. Then we have strawberries <laughs> dipped in chocolates. Um, yes, and we also have some strawberry chocolates. Strawberry chocolates. That's not strawberry chocolates, but it's strawberry chocolates. This is strawberry flavored chocolates. Yeah. Yes. And then we have red velvet cake with two more chocolate covered <laughs> strawberries on top. And we also have two drinks from Gongcha. Yep, we and have... they are the Valentine's Day special Yay! drinks. Yay! So we have the strawberry tar milk tea, and then we have the strawberry cream and cookie smoothie. Yes. Yes, yes, because yes. Valentine's yes. Day. Also, we have with us a um, a Chinese lucky bamboo with the Chinese character love on it. It's our version of a rose. <laughs> Alright, let's just start. Before we talk about today's topic. I'm going to pierce the... Yes, please. I'm just going to eat. I'm really hungry. What time is it? We always just got to check the time now. Okay, not as bad. It's 1.40. Oh, God. Oh my God. Last time it was 2. And we... Woke up at nine. <laughs> I woke up at ten today. I woke up at nine. Oh, wow, yeah. But then I was in bed until I and started getting really fat. <laughs> right, right, yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna give this a try because I'm hungry. I'm sorry if you don't like plastic straws, but you know what? We are responsible human beings. We don't throw away the plastic straws out in the open, okay? Just so put it in our trash. You hear that? That's the sound of screaming Ugh. disco girls in the background yeah no oh, this <laughs> yay success and then this one is oh you kind of pierce it too i guess oh god that oh god that sounds horrible yeah probably give that a mix yeah because there's like some stuff at the bottom <laughs> gotta mix that Damn, these cups are tall. Right? Okay. So what are we going to be talking about today? So this episode, we're going to be talking about childhood crushes. I said episode like it was a show. Childhood crushes. This is a show. This is an eating show. I'm drinking though. <laughs> it's such a pretty purple. Look at that. Because me mm. drinking it. How does the pasta taste? Not bad. <laughs> she made it today, so it's all good. But like, this is instant. <laughs> I didn't make this from scratch. It was like pre-bought pasta. I try this, it's pretty nice. Sauce. Yeah? Mm. This is pretty nice too. Got a, got a taste of them cookies. Wow, that is a big lot but you know what i'll eat it i'll try this i'll try, I'll try the other one yeah yeah oh yeah i'll keep it we'll, we'll... There we go. Mm. right i was not expecting that mm. it's pretty good gong cha is our favorite mm -hmm. all right now to actually eat it <laughs> yeah but today we'll be talking about our childhood crushes from like Kind of anything. Anything, really. But we use childhood because kind of loosely. The thing is, none of them are real. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, we use childhood very loosely because we are talking... Because I have one right now and she clearly has one right, right now too. But we'll get to that. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Okay, so do you want to start off? Because you have a list. You have, have, you have a list. I have here. a list. Okay. We we need to start off with the one, like, when people ask me, what is my childhood crush? I Like, this is one that I had to think about. You know the one from Lion King? Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I still don't know his name. Is, is that like... Is that, does it start with K. A? Yeah. I, I, why do I think it's like Kubo or something like Kubo. that? Kubo. Kubo? Is it? I don't know. But... Let's check it up. <laughs> okay, I'll search it up. But if anybody had to ask me who my childhood crush was... You'd say Tim? Uh, no, like not like... I didn't like him like that, but I was like... Huh. He kind of be he, cool character design. He be cute though. He do be yeah. It's okay. It's okay. A lot of people had like I don't know crushes on Simba and Nala. People Nala. like Nala. People like Nala. You know, um, I watched The Lion King like I don't know a few years ago, and I was like, oh, I, I can see why they would like Nala. <laughs> Nala's sleepy eyes, oh, like yeah, you know, the bedroom drowsy, eyes. Yeah, the yeah. bedroom eyes. Um, people also like, you know, Space Jam the movie. What? You know? Oh, like, yeah, the bunny. Lola Bunny. Mm. <laughs> you know, I was watching someone who, she has bunny boobies. She was, she was packing quite a bit. I mean, I can see, she's, you know. Mm. Kovu, not Kovu, Kovu. Mm. It's because he was a lion and he had dark hair. He was like hair. scars, like, you know, dis- descended. Yeah, I think he was, but like... Mm, he was he was like he was um misunderstood that's the he word was, he was a softy yes he was even though he looks hardcore like on the outside no he's not hardcore at all look at that look look at his face just oh mm-hmm. yeah okay that's mine i i don't know if i have any other pers- animal thing because <laughs> when i think about it i'm like you know how guys they have like nala lola bunny i'm like hmm. kuvo was one anyone else I don't know. I don't think so. Again, I don't have, like, a lot. Okay. But I used, also, like, when I was making the list that I'm going to say, it wasn't in my childhood, but I think back on it as, like, I saw those characters. And you remember thinking? I didn't oh. remember thinking I want him or, like, thing, but I was just like, hmm. Hmm. But that's it. Like, that's. That's all. Because some of these characters, I don't even, like, watch the show, but I saw the character design and I was like, hmm. I see, I see. I see. Now you need to tell me yours. I'm, like, really curious No, you know, the thing is, it's not even, why are you so curious? I don't understand. I don't know, so I probably forgot your other childhood ones. Oh, were you surprised I had, like, more than one? Yeah. (laughs) I'll start off with the most obvious one. You can't start off with the one now. Cause yeah, I don't, no, 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 as in, like, before, mm-hmm. younger, mm-hmm. from Oran High School, High School. <laughs> Yay, Morty! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I totally forgot about him. Yeah, I know you did. That's why, when you were talking about your list, I was like, oh, oh, you forgot! I forgot, you, Morty! You forgot! No, but the thing is, we just appreciate him a lot more now. Yes, a lot more. No, actually, no, when I was younger, I was like, oh, he seems fun to be around. I was, I liked... I just knew that I didn't really like Tamaki. <laughs> Honestly, now that I'm older, I love Tamaki. No, no, he no. is so funny. But no. when I was younger, I was like, this piece of shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, he's funny, yeah, but then, like, relationship wise and how, how do he end up with him, I'm just like, sure. I mean, I'm like, sure cu- there's other stuff that happens. Yeah, they're manga. cute, but, like, if I had to choose a dude from Order in High School Host Club as, like, a 12 year old, like literally not that long ago, right? <laughs> Twelve year old acting like that was that's six years ago. Yeah, but then I'm acting like it's like 10, 20. But as a twelve year old, I think that I liked Kaudu because his English dub voice actor was. Mm. I liked his voice. A lot of my friends like Kaudu. Really? Well, they felt sorry for him because kind of yeah. He had to give it up for his brother. All right. Yeah. That's why, because he could do a piece of shit. Who was a fucking Sundere on steroids? <laughs> hmm. But yeah, we kind of did this like thing of who we think are top tier anime husbandos. Mori is one of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We stand a good. <laughs> yes. Because you know he's a layer and the protection or whatever. Uh huh. Oh god, is it back to me? Uh, we there was one that you had on your list that I agreed on, so I technically only have like one other person that you don't. Wait, who's the one we agreed on? 
Hey, from detention air. <laughs> hey, but like, yeah. I think yeah. it's only because <laughs> tall, lanky guy dyed hair. He's a <laughs> he was Asian. I think that was. I think that was just. Okay, his character design was. Yeah, it's because he was Asian. It's because he's one of the better looking ones in that whole high school. Right? That whole high school was whack, especially the his friend. I forget, the bulky one, the big bully that ended up being good. The the techie? The guy that did tech with him? Yeah. He was- his character design was so funny. <laughs> and his personality though. Oh yeah. He, he- yeah. Um, no. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you- are we uncovering some <laughs> secrets right here? He was cute! His personality was amazing. No, his personality was cute. I think about it and I'm like- He had a chill personality. <laughs> Ping was a bit too- Ping was a- um, uh, I mean he was framed for doing something- He had a lot on his plate. Right? Well that dude, he was just kind of there. He was just chilling. And now that- Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I just uncovered something. Hmm. <laughs> okay. You share. You have a lot more than me. I only have one left from childhood. Yeah, but the thing is, these are the ones that I'm just, like, thinking... Like... Like, you... Thinking back, you're like... Mm. Hmm. Pretty good. Like, I noticed you. Like, I was drawn to Oh yeah, you. I definitely noticed the uh, last dude. Hmm, the what? I definitely noticed my third dude. Oh yeah, okay, I'm curious. Okay. Uh, but, uh, oh. But it's me, it's me, I got it, I got it. Um, did you ever watch Bakugan? No, I didn't. Okay. Let me show you some pictures of these dudes and then you'll know why I like one of them because I already told you. Because, because okay, Bakugan, it was... I like never watched it religiously oh, like yeah, I would why I other was shows. Surprised when you told me that the other day, I was like, "What? <laughs> you never told me this?" I don't know because that one was just kind of there, you know. I just watched it and then I, wa I made Danny watch one episode with me and then I realized how funny it was. Danny is her like baby brother. He's like four. Yeah. And I sat him in my room and I was like, "Hey, hey," because I was thinking about what I should show him because I want him to be a cultured little shit, right? And I was like. Ah, Bakukan's a thing, and like they have full episodes on YouTube too. So this is one of them. God. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> he looks like a ninja. Yeah, no, okay. So one, did he cut his hair with the fuck? I did not watch that part in. No, you're saying you only like him for his hair? No, I like him, but I didn't know he cut it. His long hair. <laughs> Very long and luscious. Okay. But what's nice was his baffle gun's colour, because everybody has like a colour. Oh, so yeah, yeah, Dan, yeah. the main character, had red, and then someone had grey, and I don't know. His colour was really nice. It was like a nice light-ish green, mm -hmm. and that was kind of his thing, and his baffle guns were like, yeah, were pretty cool. I forgot what its name was, but... I remember his own personal one was pretty. Yeah. And then the other one, that's not him. That, I like, I don't even know why I noticed him. I think I noticed him because the dude wore a mask, but it was a little, like, two triangle masks like that. <laughs> and I think he's, like, the, like, one of the main villains. I don't know, because I never watched that part, right? But his name is Masquerade. And then you're like, oh, shit, that's oh, him. Oh, mysterious. And I'm like, but what the fuck? do me now thinking about it, I'm like hmm it's cause he's mystery <laughs> masquerade do you want to see what he looks like yeah. actually it's all, like cause I looked him up and I was like this is so stupid why do I remember you oh wait I think that was a plot twist this masquerade just just show the picture everything else is irrelevant <laughs> That's the plot twist. <laughs> I caught it! Whoa! Whoa! Wait, let me, let me remember. Uh, I was so good. Yes! He's a girl? Oh, she's a girl? 
I'm pretty. Yes, I think so. I told you guys. Right, do you have any more? How many do you, do you have? I didn't think I'd get through all of it, so I just I put them there just for like context sake. Like, just like if I need to say anything, I'll say it. I don't think I've ever told you. Maybe I don't know. Uh, you know, sugar powder. <laughs> you know the sucker dude. <laughs> I really liked him. Wait. Wait. His name was Cool Guy. What? <laughs> I really. Do you remember what he looks like? He has brown hair. <laughs> he gets with the singer girl actually in the end. <laughs> but I really liked him. <laughs> and then I had a friend who really liked the cat dude, Ikto. <laughs> but I who, who didn't like the cat dude? What? No, no. What <laughs> weeb? You want to weeb? What weeb didn't like Ikto though? <laughs> I'm telling you. Is that one of yours? No, he's not one of mine because I was just like, bro, he's like 17, 18. You know, I'm like literally. <laughs> I'm literally like 12. She is. I thought she was 40. No, she's 12. Oh my God, she's 12? She's really young. Oh! I thought it's like 16, 17, 18. Like somewhere in that realm. It's probably like 17, 16. I don't think he's in his last year of high school. I'll just say that. Because if if that's the case, that's kind of... Wait, is, I don't know. I just remember Amu being young. She could they, be 14. Was it middle school? Did they... Last year of middle school or last year of junior? I think she might have been just starting junior high. Junior high is middle, right? Mm hmm. Year seven, eight, nine. Year seven. She's 12, 13. That's gross. Let me, let, let me look. Okay, it's not <laughs> as gross. I love Sailor Moon. <laughs> but oh, oh, there was a period of time where I was like, <laughs> Serena? Or Usagi is 14. Mamoru is in college. Oh, I hear the sirens. <laughs> I hear it, I hear it. No, it, it they're coming. I read this article where it's like, oh, why tuxedo mask? FBI reveal. <laughs> a white tuxedo mask is like thinking has horrible fashion sense. Because there was this one where he was like, his, his sleeves were like rolled here. <laughs> and then his neck thing was rolled here. I'll show you the picture, but and I was like, what kind of stupid ass fashion is that? Yeah, when the Japanese try to be stylish. <laughs> what are they even doing hanging around with each other? Right? You don't see that in real life. At least not here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know about other places, but I have never seen that. <laughs> Crunch, crunch. I'm still just like I actually like it. Right? I thought it'd be more cookies and cream e. Hmm. I shall. Oh god. Is it good? Sorry. It's I. She yeah. said it's I. You have a tissue. Okay. Honestly though, I can imagine you liking that kind of character. He was so sweet and such a good senpai. I was younger than him at that time and I was like, oh my god, what a beautiful kid. <laughs> yeah, I really liked him. Yeah, I can, I can see I can see you now even being like, yeah. <laughs> a I, good childhood crush, a good, I approve. All of my kind of like, they, 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 I they know, like, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> they come out of red and shit, I'm like, oh yeah, now. Okay, maybe it's like I like their character design, but the characters that I was kind of whack anyway. Yes. I Let's look at your list. I remember it being a bit. I've run out of of crushes from my. Because you don't watch like. I was too busy with real life stuff. My mom whooped my ass <laughs> if I didn't study. <laughs> Bro, when like I when I discovered anime or like when I went into anime as like a wee lass. A wee lass. A wee lass. Can we just give a minute to talk about TikTok and their obsession? Oh my god, <laughs> with the fucking saber tooth, Diego. Diego. I'm not talking about Dora's cousin. No. <laughs> the saber tooth from Ice Age. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. I see it. I I see it. I see them. I see that. I see through the eyes, and I'm like. Oh, I see where they're coming from. I remember when I showed you it's you it's you and we we're both like 
I, I see it. I see it. Like, I never noticed, but I see it. Yeah. You know? When I watched it, like, the series, I was like, I really cared about the mammoths. I was like, they're so fluffy. And then Sid was just a dumbass. The squirrel. Oh, Whatever God, that, that squirrel. Oh, that squirrel. <laughs> that was... That squirrel was... What a nutcase. I, I didn't like watching him. I found him so, like, I was like... So extra, right? Right? It's like, every time he came out, I was like, oh, God. He's not gonna get the nut. Why are you trying... You're not yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, I came here to watch Ice Age. I came here for the mammoth and the saber-toothed tiger. Not so much about that Sid what thing. Sloth? I don't, I don't even know what he is. I don't know, but then the the freaking whatever that nut thing. I don't know what is it called. Is it a squirrel? I don't know. I don't know. Nutcase. Yeah, th- that thing. Like he comes in. I'm like, we don't want you here. I'm trying to get to the movie. Mm. And they're like, they're like, kind of cut him in. And I'm like, why are you in? I'm I'm trying to focus on the plot with the baby. <laughs> yeah, with with the baby. With the baby. Yeah, but these are really good. Do you want it to be? One is fine. Mm. Pretty good. Yup, Diego. Mm -hmm. In Could Have Won a Basket. Do you know a lot of the characters that you don't do? I do. They're one of the animes that, like, I surprisingly know. Cool, cool, cool. If you had to choose out of all of them because they are such out of the a colorful. Dudes? Yes, the generations of miracles. But isn't the one that you like not in there? Yeah, but he's like, <laughs> he's like a main character, okay, so. So all of them plus him. Yes, and if you want to include their side, like you know how each one has uh, like a yeah. partner kind of thing, you can yeah. choose if you remember their names. I don't. If you had I don't... to. I was just critical. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's so cute. His, his personality is the most mellow for you. It's so cute. <laughs> everyone else is Everyone's like, too extreme. I'd be like, oh my god. Like, Murasaki Bada is chill, but he's scary. He's scary. Oh my god. He's like, what, 200 plus? He's tall. Is he 200 plus? Like, he will crush you. He, his hand would be like this. <laughs> <laughs> And Akashi, oh, he's com, he's he is um, he is um, yeah. he's scary. <laughs> he has a backstory. I remember reading yeah. it. Is My it... friend loved him. <gasps> Wait, no, I have another one. Mm. I just remembered I have another. Mm. No, as in not from Kuroko no Basuki, mm-hmm. but like in general. No, no, you need to talk about yours first. What are you doing? Ch- switching the subjects. I like Kagami from Kuroko no Basuki. Go. Explain why. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. In the situation, okay. When I was writing this list down, you just thought about it. I just thought about Kagami. He can cook. I think he's pretty clean, but he can't cook. Okay, that's cool. one of the things good, that good, I surprisingly know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> good. Cause I, I just don't want to be like, cause it's been a while since I've been like looking at it, but I just remember like right now for me, Kagami was pretty as a house husband. <laughs> He looks at the Kuroko, okay? Like, that that's something. I can say it now because I'm actually older than all of them. Or I'm at the same age as some of them, like the third years. Ah! If not, I'm getting older than them. Oh my god, I'm old! Shut up. <laughs> this bitch says she's 18 when she's still 17. I mean, technically you still have a bit left because the new, the new school year starts in April, I think, for them. So you're like... Just... The last she- bit of your third year. <laughs> and I'm the last bit of my second year. Yeah. Hey, okay, my one. Mm-hmm. You you don't you don't watch Harry Potter. But I like Draco. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean what? He was so stupid and funny. <laughs> he was so like But he he was so angry and petty. But like, hey, you haven't watched the whole thing, okay? You, you can't fucking lecture me. <laughs> okay. Convince me. Okay, hey, no, no. Okay, okay. It, it's like that thing where it's like you you watch them grow up and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, this is the point where you hit puberty. And honestly, he was really good looking. <laughs> the actor Tom Felton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He gets better because, like, he realizes that, like, yeah, yeah, know, yeah. the stuff that he did was, like, probably not the best. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. That's all. Now I'm done. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't judge you this hard. It's your no, 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 no. No, I'm just really surprised. You're surprised? Really Why? surprised. Dude, everyone that I've said has like, there's like no category that they fit under. <laughs> Even my current one. I know. <laughs> I was afraid of a current one. <laughs> no, 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 I'm like, what? <laughs> you think about it, you're like, huh? <laughs> Why do you like him so much? Because I do. He's beautiful. I know, like, now I'm used to it, but I remember when you told me, I was like, you were like, what the fuck? I don't know. What because... do you see? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I don't know. Because when I think of Draco, I just think, Oh, this kid, like, he dark or whatever, and I just... Then why not? And you literally said he's petty and shit. I thought you didn't like that. But he's funny. <laughs> he's so petty and funny. It's like, he was so... It's because he was, um, by the time that I got into Harry Potter, uh-huh. like, I looked at him, at his, like, I looked at him as a kid when I, when he was, like, physically younger than me, and I was like, oh, he's so fucking cute. It's like the angriest little shit I've ever seen. And then I watched him grow up and he puberty, and I was like... Oh, okay. He deal with being looking kind of fine there. <laughs> How old were you when you were watching this? I was in year seven, eight. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Since he's an actor and a person, like not to do. Remember B one A for Jin Young. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole what movie was that for? Like that granny movie. Okay, right, so there was this South Korean movie. Mm. Where this granny went to a photography place, right? Mm-hmm. Got her picture taken, and then she magically got turned back into her, I don't know, 20 year old self or like teen self? Teen self. Was she that young? Why do I feel like she was like 20, like early 20s, or like just graduated? Probably just graduated. But yeah, uh, just graduated. And yeah, she was like, she was so cute and stuff. And then she was like, um, it, actually, this is weird saying it out loud, but like her grandson <laughs> <laughs> kind of was like, oh my God, this girl is so chill and funny. She's kind of, kind of cute. Yeah. And he just kept popping. He was just really and cute. And we just appreciated how like cute he was. He was really cute. The way that they portrayed his character was like really, um, he had like funny hair. He did have funky hair. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was like a really weird, not weird colour, but it was very like an unnatural colour. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's K-pop, you know, what they like to do. Yeah, but like, really, everyone, everyone else in the family didn't have hair like that. Mm-hmm. Remember, okay, so the movies that we watched like three or four years ago, remember The Cat Returns? Yes! Uh, the cat was a gentleman. And we just appreciated how gentlemanly he was. I mean, he was wearing, he had fucking, like, cane, was it? I don't know. And a tuxedo, and a, did he have a top hat? I'm pretty sure he had a top hat. I think he had a top hat. Yeah. That's, that's. Who says chivalry is that? No, you right? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah. I think it's also because he's a cat. Like, I have, meow, meow. Mother. You know, we usually just have a thing for cats. Meow. Like, hello, there's a reason Ipithor was so thingy, and there's a reason everyone had a crush on Kyo at one point, but I didn't have a crush on Kyo, because <laughs> I like Katori. <laughs> he was yes. so sad. What a smooth transition. <laughs> I applaud you. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fruits basket, if you want to know. <laughs> Everybody knows the orange cat, but okay, so I was thinking about it. I liked two characters, because... Because Kyo was there, but I wanted him to be with Toru because she's my pay. Yeah, but um, Hatsuharu or Hattori. But I'd have to say Hattori because I love him so much. He's oh god. Do you know his backstory? No. Okay, so first, let me talk about Hatsuharu. He's the cow. Yeah, yeah. So his hair is white. Yeah, yeah. And then he's being. And there was this one adult joke that I did not get. Where the the class president was like, how that's a lie. This is a <gasps> natural. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a code of Master Dre's or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, wow, amazing! I can't believe it. <laughs> that's what literally the class president or that dude walked out and he's like, wow, amazing! I've never seen anything like that. That is a phenomenon. And he walks away and then we're like, I didn't get it at the time. Well, but then- the cur- curtains match the drapes. Right. <laughs> Are you not honest now? Don't look about his pubic hair. Don't say please, please. 
But Hattori's backstory is so sad. And Loki was like, he she he needs someone like Tori in his life. He's I'm sad for him. Mm. So basically, okay, do you know who Akita is? Yes. Yes, the 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 family head, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So basically, Hattori had a lover, and I think her name was Kano or Hano or something, and they were very in love. And then she found out that he was a seahorse, and then it was. She found out he was a seahorse, but she loved him nonetheless. And then Akita let it slide for a bit, but then Akita went crazy and kind of wounded Hattori, and then Hana got really sad because she knew it was her fault. Mm-hmm. So Hattori has this power to erase people's memories because if anyone finds out the Soma secret, they just erase, uh-huh. he just erases their memory. So he had to erase his own lover's memory. And by the time Toru comes around, she's getting her wedding ready. And then Hattori is just so sad. And I think I'm like, oh my god, I just, uh, I, I love you. Because he's so, like, he's just so sad and you need to protect him. But that's Hattori's story. And I just, oh. Oh, it's so sad. That's why, like, I think back and then, like, even then I was like, yeah, he needs someone. Mm. Not me, but he needs someone, like, Toru. Needs someone who can actually interact with. Out of the big three, who would you, who would you? The what? Out of the big three, One Piece, Naruto, and oh, Bleach. Please specify for like earlier on. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I could, you know, because now the big three is different. But like you know, back then that was the big three. Who, like, if you had to choose, who would you choose? The main characters. Yeah. God. <laughs> I don't want to answer this question. Well, I'll answer for you, Ichigo. Yeah, no, like for me, I'm not interested in any of them at all. Okay, how about just cast-wise, any of the cast? I mean, I grew up watching Naruto. So? There's probably someone in there that I like, but I can't really remember right now. Kashi? But that's now, Yeah, yeah, that's That's, now for us. That's now. But when we were, like, younger, I don't... I think I just, like, knew that Kakashi was cool. But then now I'm like, oh, Kakashi, though. Kakashi. Should we start with the cake? If you want to. Yeah. Welcome back. We we have cut the cake as you can see. It's a very nice oh God. cross section. It's a red velvet cake. And Woo! I don't think I've ever had like a red velvet cake. I've had red velvet flavour. You had red velvet cupcakes? Maybe it's been a while. I like I forget what red velvet is though. It's um just chocolate dyed red with some cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basically what it is. I forget what we were talking about. I forgot too. Alright, let's talk about like, current ones. Because we're coming to an end. Might mm. as well keep uh-huh. it, you know, timeline. But if there's that time, so... Yeah. Oh, I'll just eat the rest yep. of this. Great idea. Yum yum. So, Lillian over here. What's up? Got into anime recently. Oh my god, yeah. I can Must- believe you. Whilst I'm, I was really into anime, and then I got out, and now I'm getting back in because of her. Hell yeah. I was the one who kind of like... Dragged you back in. Yeah, I know, because what happened was you liked Haikyuu, but that's it. But then I dragged you into more things. Yeah, you did. You know, and then by dragging you into more things, I dragged myself into this <laughs> one too. You're like, I need to know what is this, what this is so I can recommend to her. Exactly. Like, honestly, I'm so behind with everything because it has been so long since... It's like, it's a whole new space. It truly is like different. right. Like it's only been a few years, and I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. Okay. As she mentioned, I really got into Haikyuu, and then I found my ultimate anime crush. Who is the absolute opposite of Draco Malfoy, <laughs> mind you? Who is like nothing like none of no the other one would, ones. No, and anyone who knows me would not expect it at all. But right. It is. Yes, Owlboy with his funky ass haircut that I love dearly. He takes up my heart. All of your heart. My heart. Who's your other current one then? Akashi! (laughs) (laughs) What did you expect? Okay, I guess like the main (laughs) big factor was when I saw him again in the manga. And he got, oh, spoilers, slightly. He got glasses! And I was like, he grew up well. <laughs> I was 
so excited to see him again. I realized right then and there that I loved him too. I... <laughs> Fukuro Dani, my favorite king. I knew you looked up at him, but I did not realize you loved him that much. He is beautiful. Okay, it like, unlike Bokto where he slapped me in the face one day and I woke up and I was like, I love him. Akashi, on the other hand, slowly crept up on me. <laughs> Just day by day. You always like appreciated him though. I did, right? Mm. Um, I always was like, oh, what a beautiful boy. Oh, the most prettiest boy ever. But obviously, Bokuto is best, yeah? Yeah. But if we're talking about current, <laughs> if we're talking about current anime, boy, this boy has been with me ever since I started watching the show. He's Gino's up from Psychopaths. Woo! Okay, so... You- you know how much it go on about psychopaths. Yeah. Right? I kind of chose him because he was there. Because one of my friends, like, she already goes like, Kokumi's mine. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to fight. Yeah. Like, not fight, but it's like, I don't want to take yeah, the yeah, same yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, Gino's like, and I'm so glad I chose him. Yeah. Because at the end of the season, he takes his glasses off. And you're like, oh, okay. And then the movie drops. And he had a low point. <laughs> oh. His hair grew. And I was like. Kathy likes long hair, by the way. <laughs> Not really long hair, just, just, I, I don't know. I think it's a thing now. Like I'm putting it as a thing. Like I think don't I like it. Don't even deny it. Bro. I'm not gonna deny it. Like, but like I, in that moment, I was like, I'm so. Oh my! God, I chose well. I chose well. Yeah, but he's my anime husband right now. I love him so much. Woo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is it, guys. This is the end. Thank you for joining us on this journey of talking about. Our childhood to now crushes. Yeah. And if you have any, just put in the comments down below. <laughs> yes, if you're thirsting for some dudes, fictional or real, put them down <laughs> below in the comments. 